Hey guys, I wanted to record this video about infographics and what the assignment is for anybody who has to miss class on week 10 or just wants a little refresher about what infographics are and how to make one. So infographics essentially are a visual representation of data so that instead of maybe reading an article or alongside reading an article, somebody could just learn about the information by looking at the combination of uh, visuals and text. So you'll often see them in journalism alongside an article or as a supplement to an article. And if you miss class, you can take a look at the slides from week 10 too, and that'll give you some more information. So I wanna show you a little bit about how to use Canva to make an infographic because they make it really easy. So I'm on canva.com right now. You can also download the app for Canva if you wanna do that instead. Um, I've linked up my Gmail to it so that it saves what I make. But in the search bar, I type in infographic. And then what Canva does is it's a design website that has all different kinds of templates for everything from like PowerPoint presentations to wedding invitations. And you can choose a template and then type in your own personalized information. So I'm in the infographics templates right now and there's all different kinds of templates for me to choose from that already have the layout done. And in class in week 10, we talked about layout and composition and things like contrast, repetition, alignment, proximity, white space, all of these templates do that really well. So you can pick a template that you like or you can um, start from scratch and you can create a blank infographic. So say for me, I wanna make uh, an infographic related to the call to action. Um, that's what you guys are gonna be doing for, for this project. So say maybe, say I, I like this template visually. So I click on it and it loads it. And I wanna make it bigger. Okay, cool. So say for mine, like if I'm making an infographic related to, say I wrote the paper, a rough ride, no one seems to care how you get there. I might put in the title something like uh, CUNY students need free Metro cards. And I might do here, instead of what they have, I might have like the problem and then type a little bit about how students need free Metro cards, uh, the solution and who, which students I think should get the Metro cards. How would we pay for it? How would we pay for it? How would we pay for it? And like three examples from my research about how it could be paid for. Um, I'm just giving you guys like a rough example about how you could do this. But then another thing that you can do is with these templates, they, they often already have pictures and graphics associated with them, but you can also go into elements and find pictures and shapes um, and graphics that are more related to what you're talking about. So you can find, um, you can find a template that you like and sort of replace the pictures. Another thing that you can do is um, they have these grids, so you can choose a blank template and then just like pick a grid that fits with what you're talking about. Oh, I don't think it works if you already have a template picked out, but if you chose blank and then you like move this grid over, then you could make it from scratch. So when you make your infographic and you like how it looks, then the end of the process is to download it. So you download it on a, onto your computer as a, a PDF and then you have it and you can upload it onto Blackboard. So the bottom line of this assignment is that you're thinking about that you have this message from your call to action paper and you're thinking about how you can translate that message into a multimodal format that incorporates visuals in the form of an infographic. And you can use Canva to use a pre-selected template or you can make your own, um, your own design. All right, so I look forward to see what you guys do with this. Be creative. If you have questions, email me. Um, and I hope this video is helpful in reiterating the assignment.